So Mrs. Catnip and I run the wood stove, even in the warm season, pretty much every night. The waterproof floor in our hot tent is made out of a thick rubberized material. We really didn't want to damage it uh, from embers, things rolling out of the stove, too much heat around the stove. So we wanted something that was fireproof and portable that we could place between the stove and the floor. This really isn't an easy problem to solve. The first thing we decided to try, and what most people use, was a welder's mat. So welding mats are these thick fiberglass mats that welders use to place over top of sensitive equipment when they're welding nearby. And the molten metal from the welds can't damage that stuff. It can't get through these mats. Now this would be an ideal solution for a fireproof barrier between the stove and the floor of the tent, except for one big problem. Fiberglass mats continually shed thousands of itchy, pokey uh, little shards of glass. They're like little filaments and they're probably not really great to breathe. They get everywhere, they're carried by the breeze, and it doesn't seem to matter what you do, you just can't get rid of them. So we tried shaking the mat off in the wind, we tried vacuuming it, we threw it in the laundry and the side of it frayed like we lost like two inches off the whole side of the mat because it just frayed into long dangly pieces and after all of that, it still continually shed these nasty, hateful, pokey fibers of glass everywhere. And we could see it in the tent after. We could see these reflecting in the sun on the floor. Uh, we were worried that they were going to start getting into the bed. Like, they just propagate everywhere. They stick to your feet and your skin, and they're always itching your feet. So at one point, we ended up taping aluminum foil, because aluminum foil doesn't burn. Uh, we ended up taping it to parts of the mat just so that we could kneel on the mat and stoke the stove. And it really wasn't a good solution because the stuff was still coming off the mat and getting into the rest of the tent. So this is our solution. Uh, it's the same welding mat, fiberglass, but what we've done is we've taken aluminum tape, which looks like this. This is used for uh, furnace ducts and it's just like he, uh, it's metal. It's uh, like aluminum foil with a tape backing. And of course it won't burn because it's made out of metal. And we've just neatly taped up our fiberglass mat that was shedding. And we really love this solution now. And it doesn't shed at all, it's really durable. Of course it won't burn when embers get on it. So this actually makes a really amazing insulator. When we use it in the winter uh, and we put the tent away, on the ground we've got this big square of ice underneath this but everything else is completely melted the snow is totally gone on the ground around the rest of the tent and we've got the stove right on top of this so you'd think it'd be very hot in this area but uh, we never get any melting of the snow or ice underneath this square uh, you'll probably need two rolls almost two full rolls of tape to cover this entire mat uh, this one's four feet by five feet and it took us two rolls Anyway, that's it for this video. We really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please support our channel. Subscribe, like, hit the bell, and we'll see you in the next one.